Well, hello there. Um, this is about the fifth take that I've taken on this video, because the one that I really liked that I made about two hours ago, um, the audio got completely jacked up and busted, and I spent about another hour trying to fix it before I just realized it was a lost cause. Um, so this is what's going to happen. You're going to get this not as well lit version um, in hopes that I can make it work and post it before it's too late in the day. Um, and I don't, I don't like being super late when I know I have to put something up. Um, so yeah. Uh, this week's topic, um, if you don't know already, is um, coming out and our coming out stories. So I highly encourage, if you haven't watched any of the other guys' videos yet, to watch them. Um, I think it's going to teach a lot of people um, what it's like to come out and the different um, reactions that, that can happen, um, both good and bad. So, you know. Go check them out, either right now before you watch mine, or afterwards, um, please. Uh, anyway, it is Thursday, it is my turn, I will tell my story, and whether you want to listen or not. <laughs> uh, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you both of my coming out stories, because once upon a time, I thought I was gay, um, and then I realized that I wasn't. And so I had to come out twice. Um, I came out as um, gay or whatever um, when I was 19. Um, it was my sophomore year in college. Uh, prior to that, I didn't really think too much about it, uh, about being gay, uh, about what it meant, because I didn't know much about it. I The only thing that I knew was that it, it it had negative connotations um, and so I didn't even if I had any thoughts or feelings on the matter I disregarded them um, I didn't think about it I just pushed it aside because I was essentially taught that it wasn't a good thing um, that it, or if it was you just don't talk about it you, you keep that to yourself and you do stuff it's, and it's just a secret um, that no one needs to know. Um, which sucks, but that's okay. Um, obviously it's not okay, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, when I went to college, uh, I, I had the idea that maybe I did like girls, but I didn't really know how to explore that venue or of, of life, um, and so I didn't, um, freshman year at least. Sophomore year I think is when it really started to kind of kick in, and one of my friends introduced me to one of his friends, and it was from that point that I realized that I liked girls. Um, yeah, unfortunately for him, he liked this friend too, but she kind of liked me, so we started dating. Um, sorry to my friend. Um, although it's 10 years later, so hopefully we're over it by now. Um, so this girl and I started dating, and I told my friends, um, my best friend said she pretty much already knew based on the relationships with guys that I had in high school, or lack thereof, um, and my sister found out via Facebook, and then proceeded to ask a lot of questions, um, about it, and what it meant, and, and a lot, a lot of stuff, and how I knew, and, and how long did I know, and have I told mom and dad yet, and to which the answer was, no, no, I haven't, and please do not tell them yourself, um, because this is going to take a little bit to tell them. Um, and it did. Uh, it took about four months 
to tell them. And I was at home for the summer, uh, and I went out on a walk um, with them and basically told them that I think I started by saying I was bi, that I liked girls, um, and that I might be gay, um, but I wasn't sure yet. Um, I think I did that more to soften the blow in general, um, because I had a feeling like if I just said, hey, mom, dad, I'm gay, that it, I was afraid that it wasn't going to go over well, so I kind of went, like, middle ground to be like, oh, it's okay, like, I can still maybe like guys, maybe. Knowing full well that that was never going to happen, um, but I wanted to, like, ease my parents into this. Um, my dad asked a lot of questions. Um, he wanted to understand what it meant and where I was coming from and why I felt like this. Um, my mom didn't really say much at all. Um, she was very quiet. It was very much a, I'm not going to tell anyone, um, so hopefully you don't expect me to tell anyone um, kind of thing. Um, there were tears involved, and it was very... It was really intense, to be honest, um, but I understand now, like, where she was coming from, and I mean, I understood in the time where she was coming from, um, obviously having grown up in that environment, um, I knew, I knew what her thoughts were about it, and I think that's why I was so worried, um, but I had to do it, um, I had to be honest. And so I did, and she she didn't really tell anyone at first, um, but then when she did, when she told her friends, when she told um, her her sisters, um, one of them already knew um, because my sister had told her, um, kind of as like a, a buffer to see, like to kind of make sure, like when my mom actually told them that, like there was that bit of support already, um, so it worked out, <laughs> um, they were all cool with it, they are very much like, that's fine, it's okay, um, you know, it's, it's still me, um, and that's fine, um, I know that there are people who weren't entirely sold on the idea, or maybe weren't even told, but they just assumed, um, put two and two together. Um, but they also never said anything to me, um, both good or bad. Uh, so it kind of just became like a thing that just wasn't addressed. Uh, and honestly, in that, for that instance, that's okay. Um, I don't mind that. Uh, because I know that they still like me as a person, um, there's just this one part of me that they're not a huge fan of, but they like me as a person, who I am and who, you know, they, they grew up knowing, like, I grew up knowing them, and, like, they saw me, like, grow up, and so I think it's, it was about as hard for them as it was for, um, my mom, and where, like, they had preconceived notions of what it meant, and but they just didn't want to sort of broaden their minds, and that's okay. That's, you know, everyone's different, and everyone's got their own their own thoughts and feelings on, on topics, and that's, that's fine. Um, so that was that coming out. Uh, everyone was kind of cool. I know some of my guy friends were a little let down, um, but they're still really cool. Like, I'm still friends with a lot of them. I don't really get to talk to them that much, but anymore, um, just life, um, happenings, but, so, uh, a couple years after coming out for that is when I realized that being gay was not what I was, um, I was trans, I was a trans guy, uh, and the moment I found that out was the moment that everything started to fall into place in my brain, um, and I think in my last video I said, like, I told my girlfriend at the time, and I cried, and it was a cry of relief and of fear, um, because I was going to have to come out again, 
and this was going to be something entirely different than just being like, oh, I like girls. This is like, oh, so you know that daughter that you had? Yeah, um, it's now your son. <laughs> uh, I am now your son. Like, I am not your daughter. I'm your son now. Like, that that girl that that you tried to put in dresses, even though she didn't like it, um, is now now has a very other reason for not wanting to wear a dress. Um, it's just sort of started making sense to me, like why a lot of the things that I was almost taught I should do or should like or whatever didn't make sense to me didn't fit who I was. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I was still very young. Um, I was in my early 20s, and none of it, early to mid 20s, I should say. Um, and I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to own up to that. I wasn't ready to figure that out yet. Um, I had a lot left to learn to make sure that I was ready because transitioning is very much a thing that you have to be ready for. Um, I know there are guys that start it and then stop it and come back, or start it and then stop it and never go back, um, but for me, I didn't want to have to do that. Because for me, it felt, it would feel like it would come off as, oh, it was just a phase. Well, when you start running hormones through your body that are not what was naturally building, and things start changing, they don't go back when you stop. Like, my voice isn't gonna, if I stop, like, hormones, my voice isn't gonna go back to the, like, higher octave that it, or higher tone that it was. It's not. Um, some of this, like, facial hair is not gonna, like, all small amount of it, um, is not gonna stop growing. Um, uh, it'll slow down, sure but it's still, it's gonna be there. Um, so there's a lot that I wanted to make sure that I was ready for and knew that I wanted um, before I, I really did anything. Um, and that took a couple years and then I moved to LA and I was like, this is the best place. If I'm gonna do this, this is the place to do it because this is a place that I know is accepting of it. Um, I met some really awesome friends that were completely on board, on board with me being gay for one, and then on board with, with once I came out to them, they were totally cool. Um, very accepting, very awesome. Um, didn't take very long for them to kind of switch over um, the pronouns and the names. Um, it was a struggle for a few people, um, but they got the hang of it and it, it, it was fine. Um, Obviously, like I said in my last video, I told my girlfriend and she was 100% on board, supportive, has been every step of the way. Um, it's just been amazing through all of it. Um, and then I knew I had to tell my parents before I went home this past April because there were going to be a lot, there's just going to be different because um, I didn't go home for Christmas. So they hadn't seen me since I started. Um, and honestly, they haven't seen. In April, there weren't a lot. Of, there weren't a lot of changes. Um, when they see me this Christmas, there's going to be a little bit different. Which I know they watched my last video. I know they've seen pictures. Um, I'm sure I will Skype or you know, video chat of some way, shape, or form before Christmas. But there's a big difference in seeing like the video version and then seeing the actual like live in the flesh version. Um, so it's going to be interesting uh, when I go home this year. But when I came out to them, it was via video chat and I kind of, it was also right before I had to go to work because <laughs> I knew if I had like a deadline, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to say this, I'm going to get it done, then I'd be like, all right, so there was time, a buffer time to like talk it out and then I had to go. So I knew like I couldn't like linger on it or whatever and I also like whichever direction that it went, good or bad, I had something that I had to like put put that aside and then focus on work. Um, it made sense to me. 
Um, so I told them, and luckily for me, I had kind of dropped some hints sporadically um, throughout the year before that this was a thing I was kind of thinking of doing. Um, and then when I told them, I was like, well, I'm already a couple months in. Um, this is what's happening. And they're like, yeah, we kind of figured. Um, and I, I, I knew if I just explained everything like this, this is what I do. This is what's changed so far. This is how they're like regulating it to make sure that it's, I don't have any like, I'm not like doing anything wrong or something like making sure like the blood and everything. Like basically I covered my bases to be like, I, I did my research. I know what I'm doing and this is what I need to do. Um, mostly to be like, not that I think that they would think that I didn't know what I was doing and I'm just like rushing into this. Um, I've never really been the person that rushes into things um, without having thought about it immensely first. Um, that goes for a lot of aspects of my life. Um, so I came prepared and they were really cool with it. And they started telling people to. Um, they kind of had to tell a few people before I came home. Um, and those um, family friends were really cool about it. Again, I know there are some that aren't, aren't entirely accepting or don't understand it or don't feel like they can make the switch over. Um, and that's okay. Um, maybe they will next time I see them. Um, maybe they'll realize that they kind of have to. Um, and if they do or if they don't, that's, that's okay. Um, partially because I don't really see them that often. Uh, so it's, it's fine. And they generally call me by the shortened, the shortened version of my original name. Um, which if anyone's gonna not call me Logan, I'd prefer they call me that. Um, and not the the extended version, the extended cut, um, because that's the one that really hurts the most when it's being used um, in reference to me. Um, case in point, I can't even say it. I can't even let it come out of my mouth. Um, so, yeah. Um, small disclaimer. That also being said, uh, to all the friends and family who have sent me messages, um, emails, Facebook messages, um, uh, text messages, and just messages in person um, to show your support and tell me how, like, what you, what your thoughts are and feelings on this. Um, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, I appreciate it more than you could imagine. Um, it's really great to know that I have your support and that I have, you know, you guys behind me in all of this. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, that's actually one of the big things in my, my coming out <laughs> story, I guess, uh, is how supportive everyone has been. Um, between, between telling my parents the first time basically coming out to myself um, when I realized that I was trans. Like, that was one of the biggest steps, was a bit, a, a, essentially coming out to myself um, and then coming out to everyone else and my parents again and then getting all of the support from everyone um, that I've been getting. Uh, it's It's been a crazy 10 years um, in the making. <laughs> Uh, so, I'm really glad to be at this point right now, and I'm really glad to be, uh, this honest and open with everyone about what's going on in my life. And I'm really glad that, that you're watching, um, I'm really glad that, that this is a thing, um, that can happen. Uh, so, I think that's basically my story in a nutshell. Um, thank you again for watching. 
please watch the other guys' videos. Please subscribe. Um, comment. Find us on Instagram. I think we have a Tumblr. I'm sure one of the guys has the link. Um, tell us anything that you want. Um, honestly, if good, bad, I mean, hopefully not bad, but if you got something to say, feel free to say it. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think about what's going on. Um, let us know what else you want to know. Um, if you've got questions, if you're questioning um, transitioning and you want to know something about it, or if you just want to know just anything about, about transitioning, whether you're doing it, you know someone who's doing it, you just want to know about it, um, let us know. We'll talk about whatever you guys want us to talk about. So thank you again, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.